Good morning. This is Bob speaking to you from my farm at in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia. I just thought I'd make a, a short video today to give you some idea of the seasonal change that we've uh, that we've had here. Uh, you'll notice behind me I have an apple tree that is now uh, really starting to uh, send the uh, leaves forth. Uh, as a matter of fact, all of my apple trees are, are doing very well. Um, the temperature right now, I suppose, is a is like 16 degrees. You know, so it's a really good day for working. And, and I have a project. The the project that I want to do uh, today is uh, to finish an espalier wire trellis and it even maybe get some of those trees to bend their branches and, and fasten to the wire. So if you want to stay here for a little bit, you might find it interesting. I, I've enjoyed doing the part that I've done already. I just wanted you, first of all, to take a quick look up the line here. You'll notice that I have a row of 4x4 four four posts. Uh, not too bad. They're, they're, they're pretty straight. Uh, I guess the third one up has got a bit of a twist to it. But uh, this is the kind of uh, trellis that I'm going to put up. Now I notice, uh, I, I think probably some of you are saying, well gosh, that's not very high for an espalier apple. But uh, if you notice over here, uh, the, the, the same sort of uh, thing has happened. I started out with low trellises and then I added on pieces as I needed the height. Now what you're looking at there, of course, is uh, my my little vineyard, I, I call it. It's actually just two rows of grapevines, but they're a constant source of enjoyment. So I'm going to take you up to the, uh, the part that I have actually completed so you can see how I support this structure. Okay, here you can see that this is the support structure for my espalier trellis my wire trellis, uh, they have to be fairly strong. So I decided to use uh, two uh, super spikes in the ground. Those go in about 32 inches into the, into the ground. And of course this is uh, actually a post for my, for my decorative fence. Uh, but I'm also going to use it for, for uh, supporting apples. And then I put a one foot piece of 4x4 four four here with this brace going across. And I'll tell you, you can't wiggle that. It is very, very strong. Now the other alternative, of course, was to put this support on the back side of that 4x4. Four four. But then I'm wasting space and I don't have a whole lot of space to waste. So this is what I'm going to do on the other end and then see if I can string a wire that uh, will support the, the first branches of my espalier apples. First of all, I thought I'd give you a, a little idea of some of the uh, stuff I had to use in order to, to make this trellis system. Uh, I've got 50 feet altogether of trellis for this uh, espalier project, and I, I figured out the cost to be just about $100. So that's not too bad, considering that uh, I'm really going to be able to enjoy this for, for many years to come, I hope. Uh, anyway, first of all, I, I have a little piece of 2x4 uh, of, uh, there. I don't know if I can use my finger for that or not. Yeah, there we go. little piece of 2x4, piece of 4x4, four four, and that's one foot long. Well, I'm sorry I cut that right now, because uh, I'm going to have to hammer on that, and I might mess up the whole... Uh, the whole thing, the, the top of it, if you know what I mean. But uh, well, we'll give her a try anyway. And uh, of course, you have to have a level because you want to get these things pretty, pretty straight. Otherwise, they look terrible. There's my super spike or my ground spike. Um, you're going to need a, there's a little uh, socket set there. That's to tighten up the uh, super spike. And I've got uh, some turnbuckles, some hooks, and some little clamps down here that I know for attaching the wire. You don't have to twist it all up. And I've got a screwdriver there to help turn those those hooks and pair of pliers. 
it would be handy to have a, a, a drill that wasn't, uh, didn't have a power cord, but uh, I don't have one of those. And I've got a sledgehammer. And that wire, that wire is number 10 wire. It's, a, it's, it's really quite heavy. You, you certainly don't need that much, but I've got a deal on that. So uh, I decided to, to continue with it. Okay, I'm going to go back now and get set up and get, get started uh, putting more posts in the ground. Here we are. We're, we're actually 50 feet down the line now from the, the last little bit that I showed you. Uh, I got this uh, post in. This is 32 inches uh, all the way down. Uh, the reason I use that measurement is because when I put uh, a, another attachment on here, I'll probably use a, a screw eye. It'll raise it up to 36 inches, and that's just kind of neat and tidy. Uh, I have to do a couple measurements here first. The first wire, believe it or not, is only 18 inches off the ground. Now, I know some of you are saying, oh gosh, that's putting your apples pretty low, but, uh, well, uh, the, the whole tree doesn't grow much more than four feet. Yeah, they're, they are dwarf apples, and I think that'll be okay if I, uh, as long as I can get my mower underneath that, uh, that load of apples. So, two measurements, 18 inches. Here's my first one, right there. That's where the brace goes, too. You know, remember that brace that went down this way? Well, that's where that goes. And then I'm going to measure out 18 inches. Well, I can't mark that very well. So what I'm going to do is just take my finger and draw a line in the sand. So, now I've got to get that, that ground spike in the ground. It's 32 inches long. And uh, I know some of you are saying that, oh boy, he's going to strain to get that in there. Well, you watch. Here it is. Now I want my bolts on the outside because they're they're just a little easier to work that way. So I'm going to set this in here. Now I'm just going to eyeball this. I don't uh, I don't care that much if it's if it's really straight because it's only a foot off the ground. So you're not going to see too much of a, a variation there. So I guess that's pretty good. Look at the super super strength. There. Well, that's about, that's almost six inches in the ground already. So, well, unfortunately, I cut this to length, and I probably shouldn't have. It's one foot long, uh, and I'm going to have to drive on the top of that, and I'm likely to to uh, mess that up. But anyway, we're going to give her a try. Put that down in there, just like that. Look, that's not bad. I wonder how straight that is, though. So I brought my level, just in case, here. Uh, well, yeah, it's not that good. There, just, just right there, I guess would be good. So if I put a little bit of strain on that, that'll be okay. There, what do you think of that? You know, I didn't really hurt that post that much. Uh, it, I bent it a little bit on top, but I don't care. Because what I'm interested in is the structure right here. Okay, I'll pull that back out again. Uh, do I want to pull that back out, or do I just want to... No, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just tighten that up. But you guys don't want to see that, so... I'll, I'll shut the camera off and, and come back a little bit later. Well, I'm back here. Uh, Actually, quite a bit of time has passed since uh, since the last segment there. When I was driving the uh, ground spike, I was trying to save a little bit of time and, and not make this video too long. And I went quickly and it twisted. So I had to pull it back out again and, and put it back in straight. But it, it's pretty good there now. I've got my support structure in. Uh, screws here, screws under here. Uh, you can't wiggle that. Um, kind of out of breath as I, I had to turn those screws in by hand and uh, that, that, that was hard going. It had a big knot right there you can see. Um, I, I find that I can't bring my power tools down here. I'm, I'm probably 150 feet from the uh, power source and by the time I screw all those holes and screw the screws in my drill is getting pretty hot so uh, I didn't use it. Uh, as a matter of fact I, I used my uh, bracing bit 
to uh, start the hole there for the first, uh, the first uh, not screw eye, but it's a hook. Uh, I'll get that now and, and just put that in, hang the the, uh, the uh, ring buckle there, the, the turning buckle, tighten it, the tighten the wire. I'll put that on, and uh, and that'll show you how this whole structure came together. Just okay. Here it is. I'm I'm pretty much done, I guess. I didn't show a whole lot because this video is getting pretty long. Uh, one thing I want you to notice, though, I found it really handy. Just a little a little contraption that I got at the hardware store. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, well, that's not real good. I don't know if that'll focus. But, you see, I know my finger's going to be big here, but you see that little, that's a little clamp right there. And uh, I use that rather than twist the wire. I, I thought twisting the wire might weaken it and uh, you know it eventually break and I didn't want that. I, I bought an extra one of those and maybe you can see it a little better here. Yeah you can look at that. You just slide your two wires through that and after you've bent them you know and my gosh that works good. So that's my uh, trellis, my wire trellis for my espalier apples. Uh, God willing and the crick don't rise I'll be able to uh, add a wire later on in the summer. I didn't bend those uh, branches yet this year. Uh, I'm, I'm worried that they're going to break off. This one that you're seeing right in front of you here, this one right here, that's uh, a Red Delicious. It's on M9 rootstock. And that's very dwarfing. So this is not going to get much more than four feet haw, tall, but it's got some really nice lateral branches on it that I can bend, but not right now. So I guess that's it for today. Thank you very much for, for watching. I, I hope this may give you a little bit of help when you start your project. Bye-bye.